the devils, the thunder. This is the highway to hell. I am the devil. And tonight's game. For tonight, three teams are playing. Binghamton, New Jersey, and Adirondack. Number one, Bingham, um, I got news, and that is that Connor Riley went up to Binghamton this, uh, this morning. Um, the link will be in, will be included in the video. Two new and also their farm team of the New Jersey Devils are playing also. Three, the Adirondack Thunder is pl is pl is playing against the Worcester Whalers. Three teams will come out as the winner. Binghamton, New Jersey, Adirondack. But my game analysis for the Thunder versus Worcester, I can say right now, that game will be dirty. And our starting goalies will be Alex, let's see, Alex, um, Scalopolis. I can't even see his name right. Um, versus Mitch Gillum from Worcester. Two. We have a new player from the Jacksonville Iceman, and I and I forgot his name. And I and I forgot his name again. But, I hope this guy does well. He is 5 foot 9. Um, I know he can score goals, but his last team, he only played in 4 games. Um, I, I have to check the transactions of the ECHL and probably do a follow up video so I can, pro so I can provide you who went where? Um, two. Uh, but the game itself tonight against Worcester and and my local t and my local hockey team of of the Thunder. Uh, well, let's put it this way: we lost we lost Jake Linhart, Brian Ward, and now Connor Riley. Jake uh, Jake Linhart goes to the goes to the Hershey Bales. Brian Ward and Connor Riley with Binghamton. He, but the whole point is this: in my personal opinion, oh, I I totally forgot. And there is a, a, a excuse me, there is a suspension. Um, of, a, of a player that plays for Binghamton um, and some guys are, some and some other players are are hurt and injured um, but in my personal opinion we this year we never get a player from Binghamton and, and I want them to because I want to see my personal friend of mine, John Ramage, with the Thunder. Because he used to play for the Adirondack Flames and the Abbotsford Heat. And also, that's why I like Binghamton, because they are a good team this year. They are in fourth place this year. And I'm happy, well, I'm happy for that team, and I hope they can do very well in the playoffs this year. Because when that happens, I might be going on to a game. Sometime, I don't know when. 
I could go with the LA Wolf, my cousin. Because I, like I said, I went to a game last year um, for, the, for the first time and I bought like this shirt, hat, um, and then next thing you know, um, somebody gives me a Binghamton Devils jersey. So, anyways, but the game tonight against Worcester, um, will be unbelievable though. I mean, the whole point is we need to win two points, not one, but two. Which I said from a previous video, uh, two weeks ago, I said about the hurt, uh, about the Manchester Monarchs, um, we had the game won. One nothing. At, at the three minute no three minutes and twelve seconds into the third, Manchester Monarch scored. We cannot contain the puck in overtime, and, and we and we always do. We the thunder. Excuse me. The thunder always uh, contains the puck, goes down and scores first. We win. Manchester goes in and goes score, one one. Again, overtime, three three on three. Manchester scores again, two to one. They won. It's, it's like every game that we have played, one point each, one point each. I don't want to see one point. I want to see two. And also, I want to inform everyone. This is important. That's why I talk about the game itself. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but, and, and also, um, uh, for tonight, I'm just doing um, um, uh, my analysis about only the, the, the game in Worcester. Um, uh, and and that's it. I just wanna uh, just tell you a little bit about Binghamton and New Jersey. Um, so because, which I said, in a couple of months, um, the two let's say we are in December, so two months in for February, which I said I'm going to New Jersey. To see the Devils play, uh, it could be two games. Um, one's on Saturday against Minnesota at one o'clock. So, then on Sunday, I have the uh, on Sunday I have the tickets for a game against Carolina at three o'clock. That means we may have to spend it. That means we have to spend the night. So I have to bring the iPad with me because the Thunder is on the road against Florida for three games. I need to know um, the transactions and I need to know who's gonna win the two game the two games in Florida. Well, I hope it's the Thunder um, because now it, this is crunch time for the playoffs. Um, so, anyways, excuse me for one sec, I'll just see what time we have here. Alright, it is, uh, 6.21, um, make one 6.45 to 6.50 will be the, the, will be the pre-game show for the Edwin Deck Thunder. I have to listen to that and get, like, all the, like, all the news. And then the game will start at 7. Um, so, my, 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 so, the game, uh, which I said, will be dirty. Because Worcester doesn't like, does not like the Thunder. Um, it's like, every time that we get a goal, every time, okay. When we beat Worcester, um, I, I, like back in back in October, 
we won. We're all still, um, still around. Oh, uh, let's fight. They they always have to pick fights and cheap shots. Example. Let's say I'm, I'm James Henry, the team captain, and, and I get the goal, score, and he turns around and says, yeah, yeah, high five all around. And then the player for Rusty will, will hit him, and then the player for, for us will come out and fight the guy, and, and then we have a bench cleaning brawl afterwards. i seen that happen with a different hockey team, and, and it was the, the Adirondack Phantoms, Versus the versus the the Portland Pirates at, at the time in Portland. It was a bench cleaning brawl. I love it. And I want to see that happen this year with the Thunder. Because I'll be going nuts if that happens. Anyways, that's what I'm saying. We're still in and run deck always play dirty. Um, also, um, which I said, the starting goaltending would be Alex Scalapolis, uh, um, I think I got his name right that time, and Mitch Gillum, if, if he has returned from Bridgeport, from Bridgeport. Um, but going into the game, uh, we need, we need the, we need, we need Two points, not one, but two. All right, guys. Oh, hold on. I can see. All right. So I got you guys pumped up for the Devils and Binghamton and for the Thunder. Who's gonna win? Leave some comments below. Would it be Adirondack and Binghamton and hold on and New? In New Jersey. Who is who is your favorite ECHL team? AHL and NHL. Leave some comments below and tell the wolf your top three picks. Mine, I have a, a whole bunch of teams. Alright guys, favorite, like and share and subscribe to the channel. And you need to subscribe to all three teams. Binghamton, New Jersey, and Adirondack. Links will be into the description. We want you guys, for real, subscribe to them. They need it, because they need to win tonight. Game time, 7 o'clock for all three games. Binghamton, New Jersey, and Adirondack. And my final thoughts for the, for tonight, my prediction will be Binghamton, 7, the other team, no goals. New Jersey, same thing, but it will be 6 nothing New Jersey. Adirondack will be Adirondack, 7, Worcester, 1. I'll see you guys later. New video up tomorrow on the game against Brampton. And I, I have a, one quick message for Brampton. If, if, if you score at 6.5 seconds, you have made the Wolf Pack list forever. And if you go into overtime and score again, that's what's going to happen. You, you, you will be placed on the menu. Wolf out Go New Jersey, go Binghamton, and go Adirondack. Woo!